my topic is design and babies, and I'm here to persuade you to be against the whole idea and the continuation of research and experiments for designer babies. Um, a woman in England gave birth to the first designer baby. She did it to prevent her child from inheriting a certain type of eye cancer that she has. And, um, you know, that's, that's fine, I guess, but um, it kind of goes on to be what happens when someone just wants to have a designer baby to, um, to prevent other things like, um, like height or like obesity or different things like that. And that's kind of to the point where it gives me okay because it does prevent it does prevent um, they do some people that have like physical differences that other people do produce uh, or they do have discrimination in the society but it um, and like and then um, with that, who gets to decide? To who gets to deny a mother the opportunity to have a baby with her like superficial desires? Who gets to decide like, oh, it's not okay to have a baby that is? And the process that it takes to form a designer baby is very complex, and any mistake can alter the lives of the generations. The generations after, and for my main, first main point, um, some of the reasons that caused me to be against designer babies is that it's very expensive, and not all people will be able to afford it. And because not all, everybody will afford it, the gaps between the different classes, upper class and lower class, will just be greater. And um, not only will it be a problem in the classes, it will also be a problem as like those babies grow up. They um, they will look at other children differently, and it will cause problems with like bullying and like um, different things like that. And the national director of Christian Voice, Stephen Green, believes that it will form an irrational fear or hatred towards anyone that looks different, and that leads to bullying and other problems along that line. And bullying is already a problem, and it continues to get worse. Um, because of there's a, there was like a girl that hung herself because of bullying this past January. And my second main point is or are the solutions to abolish designer babies. Um, one solution could be like a petition just to try and stop the the different experiments and the different. Um, and the continuation of research and another solution would be if you have like a genetic problem that could be passed down to um, your child you could always adopt and like save a child that way instead of having another having a having to um, produce and like genetically make another baby um, you could raise a child the same way and that child could not have a genetic problem and it prevents the child that you're adopting from getting lost in, in, in the system and um, give them a chance in life that they might not be able to have while in foster care. And um, in conclusion, I think, I hope I persuaded you all to be against the whole idea of, of designer babies and the continuation of the experiments because it's, um, according to a lot of religious groups, it's kind of killing the babies that have like that problem when you take out the egg. And then um, I hope that in the future, if you guys ever have like, have a reason not to have a baby, that you consider adopting and like saving a child that way instead of having a child that could be something that